Could have a fine game for you today. Welcome to it. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Porto in our match today will play against Sporting. Oh, looking forward to this one. Second versus third. Two teams deservedly up the top of the table and still in with a chance of winning the title at the end of the season. Three points here would go some way to helping them to do that. Danilo Pereira. Let's have a look at uh, a player on each side, Alan, who could influence the game today. Well, they could. Two crowd favourites, two favourites of the managers as well, and you can understand why, given the talent they've both got. And here is the team news for Porto. 4-3-3, and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside support the center forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball so an onus on them check on the team news for you for sporting with uh, an emphasis maybe on uh, getting into the game, not getting out of the game before 20 minutes or so. They want to start solidly with those two holding midfield players. Yeah, don't lose the match before, really, you've worked your way into it. I think that's probably the message in their dressing room, and uh, it's reflected in that shape that we see. Alfonso Secretario is the referee in charge of today's game. Another kickoff from Porto. Herrera. Porto pushing on here, getting men forward. Tries the through pass. Shots on here. Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. William Cavallo. On to the attack now. Chalotto! At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. Well, they've got a corner. Got it away from the danger. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. He's got his shot off now. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Attacking well here. Well, they've wasted that crossing position, haven't they? Easily cleared. Cavalier. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Well, this attack... And here comes the counter-attack. Corona! That's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it... I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. <laughs> 
Ruiz. That's a great interception. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. Felipe. Looking to play his teammate through. Into the attacking third. Going for goal! Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. More news on the injury, and Jeff Shreves is the man in possession of the information. He actually got trod on in that last challenge, so his foot is probably a bit sore. As always, Jeff does know what's going on, and thanks for that, Jeff. Ezekiel Shalotto. The shot's on! Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right time. Just couldn't uh, provide the finishing touch. Herrera. It's looking good, this move. Corona. And the goalkeeper got across to it. Stopping the cross, important job for the defender. Corner for Porto. A nice challenge will the ref do Maxi Pereira gets yellow now that was an easy decision for the ref well he's gone to ground and whenever that happens you're gonna get penalized poor challenge coming forward with some danger oh he showed great anticipation there to take the lead and there it is the goal and it's put them into the lead that's a great breakaway the counter-attack time to perfection executed to perfection yeah you see this more and more in the modern day game it's all about pace and the score has certainly showed it there And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Corona. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes. Got to be. To level it up now. And they are level. That is the equalising goal. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. Level, both sides have scored here now. Alan Ruiz. 
Well, the referee has blown for half time at 1 1. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, really good late equalising goal, and that might just change the manager's team talk now. kick-off at the start of the second half. Dost. The return ball. On to the attack now. In comes the challenge. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Now Dost. Marvellous tackle. Oliver Torres. Porto pushing on here, getting men forward. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for a throw. Ezekiel Shalotto. And the away team want to make a change. Good interception. Presented possession to the opposition now. On the attack here. And he could get away here. Letting the shot go! And that is the goal that puts them in front. One team is very happy here, and one team is very frustrated. And yet, you wouldn't have expected that kind of gap between these two. They deservedly lead. Well, they've knocked the ball about well, Martin, and uh, knocked it about with confidence. And as you say, they're two evenly matched sides, so that's been a big achievement for them. Start the game 2 1. Ezekiel Shalotto, strong challenge, and here comes the counter attack. Gonna try one now. A oh, great work by the keeper. And Porto awarded the corner. Good judgment there to make that interception and clear the ball away. Yeah. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. In the centre is Brian Ruiz. To get the equaliser, terrific stop. This could be a chance. Now the shot! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. The player's a bit unhappy about this, but we can see it again, whether it should have been offside or not. It was called offside. Well, who'd be a linesman, but this linesman, he's one of the best, and he gets it right here. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here.
manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Ruiz, looking good this move. And now the break is on. Chance from the pass. Gonna try his luck. Fantastic break. Just couldn't apply the finish. Well, he did the first bit brilliantly, but when it came to the finish, couldn't quite live up to it. To be replaced by number 15, Paolo Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Diogo Jota. There's some potential in this move. We well, could be it. Got to be. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his, and he's made sure he's protected it. And we have nine remaining minutes. Through pass. It's going to go right to the wire here with this one goal lead and the supporters well they've upped their game there's no question about that just listen to them yeah they've been brilliant but it's been a and shoots at full extension the goalkeeper makes the save it's a corner now and they're almost there Eighty-eight minutes played here. Three minutes, and that's what's going to be played for added time. So a good looking attack this one it might be a final attack as they look for this equalizer here's a chance to attack and we're looking at the referee and there goes the final whistle and the match is finished here 2-1 great example here of counter-attacking football and they drew the opposition onto them they did and they have got players with pace and they've certainly got lads out there that can finish as they showed well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances.